Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is November 16th, 2016. And this is our episode number 23. Today, like in most previous episodes, we're going to take a look at a new randomized Brazilian company. And through its debt over equity ratio. Uh, if you've watched... Uh, any or a few of the past episodes, uh, you will have heard me uh, go at length about the importance of looking at a company's debt situation. And I, if you haven't, I completely encourage you to do that. The rule of thumb here for safety is to avoid investing in companies that have a debt over equity above 0.5. Uh, uh, anything above that is a, a company that looks uh, highly indebted. And if you don't know any better, uh, at least you know that you should not be taking your chances with a company like that. And it's a fairly easy ratio to assess from the company's official documents. Uh, you are uh, able to see that over time, right? Sometimes a company may make uh, certain adjustments and disguise this debt or, or something of the kind. But if you look at it over years, over the past 10 years, you can kind of protect yourself just from looking at that one ratio and just avoid uh, dangerous companies outright. So with that being said, let's get to work. Going to Google, uh, we can type Empresas Listadas Bovespa. Uh, which means Bovespa listed companies. Uh, I am aware that my my uh, melange of Portuguese and English in this uh, uh, video series is is uh, pretty uh, strange. Uh, but yeah, uh, do learn English if you don't don't know English, and do learn a little bit of Portuguese if you don't know it. I'm using the very basic things here. So we have an initial uh, a list of initials here, 26. I'm just opening a new uh, tab, going to random.org, so we can randomize uh, one out of 26 initials, and then randomize companies within that initial. So uh, six, letter F, right? F. So with F, we do have a number of companies here, easy to count, three, Six, nine, twelve, fifteen companies. Randomizing again from one to fifteen, we get five. So five will be uh, Fiban Companhia Industrial, Fiban Industrial Company. I don't think I've ever heard of this company. Let's see if it's being traded. Uh, it does have a code here, a uh, stock symbol. Uh, it has a price, and at the same time, it looks like it has not been been traded uh, at all over the past year. One, I know, right? One year here. Uh, price doesn't by itself, just like this, does not mean anything to us yet, because you know what's the price of a slice of a, a pie? But how many slices is that pie? chopped into, right? One, two, uh, three billion, like some companies have shares, right? Companies commonly have shares issued in the tens of millions. So yeah, the price itself doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah, there's even like a, a joke, uh, some childhood friends used to, to play against one of our less uh, bright uh, childhood friends when we went to a to a pizza place and and the guy offered a pizza and said how many slices should we uh, cut this pizza into and he would say oh cut into 36 I'm really hungry right uh, it's it's a silly joke but uh, people fall prey to it in in stocks you know even sometimes very smart people so we, they look at price and you know, don't consider anything else and just run 
serious dangers of losing money, really. Okay, so we have the core activity here. Uh, so manufacturing of parts and accessories for uh, automotive vehicles, such as screws, uh, just like screws and similar stuff. Okay, works for us. We can go to the website. And even though it doesn't seem to, to have been traded yet, at least as an exercise or, or, or as a, just learning more, really, uh, let's see if we can find the debt over equity. So I usually go to Command F here on my Mac. Okay, oh, we have uh, Investor Relations. Let's go to it. So they have issued a, an ITR. I, I see here a judici a recuperação judicial. This is very meaningful because this means like chapter 11, something like that. Okay. So just by looking at this, uh, I tend to go look at net equity uh, before I look at debt because uh, the tendency is that this company has a negative debt equity. Okay. So ITR... We have looked at ITRs a little bit thus far, uh, more than uh, 20 ITRs, I suppose. This is a good thing. It's, it slowly develops uh, 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 something that feels like intuition, but it's really like accumulated experience. Of course, just looking at 20 uh, is really nothing, but it's a start. So here's the liabilities. Let's look at the net equity which is patrimonio liquido right let's see okay found it it's usually towards the bottom here of uh, the liabilities which is passivo in Portuguese uh, so here it's 2.03 patrimonio liquido and yes uh, my my guess was right and they do have a, a negative uh, debt, uh, net equity okay it's interesting to see that uh, uh, by last year's end, the net equity was not negative, okay? We can just over uh, take a quick look at the debt here. Uh, let's see. So... Usually, you, the 2.01 will be current debt, right? Meaning next 12 months. And below, you have debt for longer term. And you see here, uh, well, we end up... It, it, they do, like, detail a lot of things they owe, a lot of liabilities here. So they break it down into, uh, into different kinds of taxes... To, to pay and, and to collect. So this is a, like a longer thing, but we do find the quick uh, debt here. So it's about 9 million. And then uh, we can find here longer term debt of closer to 14 million. So we can do uh, our, our spreadsheet. Okay, it's a very simple spreadsheet. Just scroll it all the way down. And we know uh, this is not a company that we will be investing in anytime soon. Uh, because it's too dangerous for an not supremely experienced uh, investor or a speculator uh, given that this company is in default, right? Uh, but that doesn't mean there is not an opportunity there. It's just a very specialized field. So FIBA 2T16. Here's a total debt, okay? Givida Bruta. So it will be about 9 plus 14, so 23. But 
the net equity is negative minus 13. I always round it to millions, okay? Uh, at least for, for publicly traded companies. So their debt over equity is negative, which is is uh, outside our our range, right? We went from zero to zero point five, and it kind of ends here for us as far as looking at Fibam. Uh, of course, it's a learning experience if you want to read up on the company's history and how they got to where they are now. There's infinite stuff to learn looking at companies like that. But for our purposes, we have met a new company. And uh, it's a company that we know we don't want to invest in right away, which is a good thing. One less thing to... Well, one more thing to avoid. Let's put it that way. Thank you so much. And see you in the next episodes. If you haven't watched uh, our past 22 episodes, I'll be very glad if you do. And if you want to talk more about it, do leave a, a comment uh, in the video. And I'll be happy to talk back to you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.